We welcome you to our program, Life After Recovery. We want you to be safe. We want you to be healthy. We want you to recover from sufferings. Our mission is to bring smile on your face. Life After Recovery. Today, I want to share my views with you on hair transplant. In this highly competitive world, we have to have a good and appealing personality. are over 70 percent ball men who rush to the various centers of hair transplant. Many lucky guys come with a great success and finally get rid of the baldness for good. But there are many many unfortunate ones who after hair transplant land up into the ocean of miseries. Lot of money, lot of time and lots of hope of happiness get shattered. The face becomes such that the person himself hates looking at it. In transplant means previously he was done uh, with some other center. The hair which were transplanted were looking very very odd. So there were two difficult tasks in front of me. One is the hair which is standing out, out of natural direction, which we have to camouflage with other hairs. So I will require more number of hair to transplant. Secondly, the back side in FUE was totally devastated. It, there were multiple small holes, multiple scars. So to harvest a strip, there was a difficult case. A total number of hair which can be harvested were difficult. So I have taken a precise decision to make to extract maximum number of hair with minimal transaction rate so that we can harvest more number of hair in front and more implantation in front plus giving proper natural direction, a high density transplant with the proper angulation and direction of each and every hair so that the patient should look very natural when the hair will grow up. What was your experience? I had a FUE from Chandigarh. I just want to tell people so that please don't show them in any of the videos. You can see exactly all of the reviews and research in the whole way. You can give your proper time if you are taking the hair transplant decision. क्योंकि not only यो money आप सिर्फ money नहीं spend कर रहे हो actually आप अपना पूरा एक दो साल बर्बाद हो जाएंगे अगर आपका गलत hair transplant होगा किसी भी तरह से बस मैं यही जो आगे आने वाले लोग हैं जो कराना चाहते हैं actually वो पूरी research करके करें किसी भी doctor के बारे What would you say about this face? Good, bad, or ugly? The only cause of this grotesque face is wrong hair transplant. The victim himself is responsible for this weird look. Now this, this, and on these, they all are the victims of wrong hair transplant. I wish you would never fall in this category. We want you to be safe. We want you to be healthy. We want you to recover from sufferings. Our mission is to bring smile on your face. Life after recovery. This man once fell victim of a wrong hair transplant. Moreover, the tragedy of wrong hair transplant does not end here. It further continues. The poor man loses his own hair for good. What could have been utilized for filling up his bald scalp? I would personally insist you to watch this episode of Life After Recovery. This episode will guide you how to choose a doctor who will do your hair transplant and what are the factors of choosing a good hair transplant clinic. Tip 1. Your hair transplant doctor must be professionally qualified plastic and cosmetic surgeon. Tip 2. Operation theatre must be 100% infection free. Tip 3. Operation theatre must be ready with the functional devices according to the standard mark. Tip 4. Cutting room or the craft repression room must have video-assisted microscopes. A doctor plays the most important role in the entire hair transplant procedure. So first, look for the qualification of doctor. If your doctor is plastic and cosmetic surgeon with good experience, the chances of wrong hair transplant becomes almost nil. Okay, so remember the first tip. Before going for a hair transplant, make sure 
that your doctor is a professionally qualified plastic and cosmetic surgeon. It's better to listen and follow the guidelines of the world-known hair transplant surgeon, Dr. Sunit Sonia. My opinion, uh, at least you should be a plastic surgeon because if you are not a plastic surgeon and you are not dealing with surgeries like cosmetic surgeries like rhinoplasties, facelifts, you are not sure what type of designing pattern you are doing, what type of hair design you can do, what type of design will shoot to a specific facial outlook because every face is different. So for every face, you have to design the hairline according to the facial features. In fact, there is no person who has the same facial features. So every face is different, every designing part is different, every scalp has different requirement in respect to implantation area or the recipient area, in respect to the donor area. So depending on the donor availability and the area to be spread it out, it has to be technically distributed in a proper way so that it should look the best. The hairline designing should be best. So one has to be definitely a cosmetic surgeon that is MCH plastic surgeon. It takes around 14 years to a person after doing his secondary schooling to become a plastic surgeon. Six years of graduation that is MBBS. Three years of post graduation that is MS general surgery. Then three years of masters that is MCH plastic surgery super specialization in fact after that I would recommend you should be trained in cosmetic surgery as well as there should be experience of hair transplant so I have been trained for cosmetic surgery at various places like I have done my fellowship at Taiwan a fellowship at Hong Kong for doing microvascular work as well as cosmetic surgery I have been specially trained for hair transplant at different centers in worldwide for doing good amount of quality work in hair transplant. No matter whether the method of hair transplant is FUE or FUHT, you must ensure that the operation theater is up to the standard mark and fully infection free. So never forget the second tip. It is your right to know about the cleanliness of the operation theater and the measures taken for disinfection, sterilization and infection control by the clinic. It's your right to understand the steps of hair transplant so let's see the phases of procedure. Operation theater. Here, your follicular grafts are harvested. This area must be 100% bacteria free because the surgical site infections are the second most common cause of the hospital acquired infections. This entire area must be fumigated on a regular basis. Theater is basically a modular operation theater. It's infection free, uh, done infection free every day by special equipments. And we have all rounded walls. These are central oxygen and nitrous supply. These, you can see the uh, panels which are always wall mounted. These almiras are wall mounted. In fact, the corners or edges of the room operation theater is rounded. So there is no chance of a bacteria to stick anywhere in our operation theater. We do only one patient a day and next 24 hours the operation theater is always sterilized. So if we are not doing multiple patients in the same, same operation theater, the chances of infection goes down, down and down. So in our experience, in last 2000 patients there is no infection. Apart from this, we must check whether the theater is equipped with the necessary supported devices or not. The operation theater must have certain basic equipment which will monitor your heart rate, blood pressure, respiration, etc. So your third tip is, before going for a hair transplant, always find out whether or not the operation theater is ready with the required and essential equipment like a pulse oximeter with ECG, a defibrillator, oxygen backup, etc. Let's have a look at the operation theater of Medispa. We have the latest equipment possible that is the Britex Omeda anesthesia machine, a pulse oximeter with a continuous ECG monitor to monitor blood pressure, ECG and heart rate constantly for the patient safety. We have a defibrillator always ready. If the follicle graft cutting room does not have video assisted microscopes with highly trained technicians, then the damage rate of harvested graft increases considerably. Okay. Each and every graft of yours is invaluable. So do not forget the fourth tip. Always examine the cutting room area 
and find out about the minimum available equipment which would reduce the rate of craft damage. And if you're not convinced, then never take a chance. Harvested strip, having large number of grafts, is shifted to cutting room area. It's equally a sensitive zone like Operation Theater. Medispa proud to have one of the best cutting rooms in the world with a highly technical staff. Dr. Sunit Suni always shows the complete procedure to his patients. This setup claims to reduce the damage graft rate by 1%. It actually seems impossible. But it's true. So let's see how is it possible. What we are doing here is what we have harvested a strip and then we are dividing it to slivers that is almost bread loafing. We are taking a single row of hair out. And you can see this is a video assisted microscope which is the best in India. In fact, we have imported from Germany and video assisted microscope gives the maximum magnification, 200 times magnification. So the damage rate is reduced to less than 1%. This okay. is the beauty of this microscope. And these technicians which we are working with me, they are trained from last 7 to 8 years. So doing precisely same job daily. So this is the best technology available worldwide and in fact there are a lot of surgeons come from other part of country as well as from US and UK to learn this technique. The microscopic, this is a follicular in it and we have a small tissue around it. The white color is dermis and a very small epidermis and a small amount of fat. These are the hair bulb from where the hair grow. So it's a follicular unit. So this is the strip which we have seen previously operated and from the strip we are harvesting the units. You can see we are specifically seeing the direction of hair and dividing the tissue around it without damaging any hair. But where we are holding the hair is up to the tip. We are not holding the shaft or the root so that we are not damaging the root by pressing it or by pinching it. So this is the beauty of this video assisted microscope. The damage rate can be reduced to less than 1%. That if we transplant maybe 1000 hair, the damage may be less than 10 hair. Hairline is redesigned at second last stage of hair transplant. So I have designed a hairline design according to you. You have you have got an extensive baldness, so fine, around grade 7. What we have done till now is extracted the strip from the backside and closure it is done by a trachophytic method. So this is the area where, where we are planning to transplant. And a very high density in this frontal zone, gradually reducing the density up to this area so that we cover a maximum area. Every person's requirement of scalp is different. Every person's donor area is different. So we have to judge with my experience that how much area we can cover in one go, how much hair we can extract and according to that we have to distribute the hair in such a manner that from looking from front it should look fuller and looking from top it should look covered. Exactly. On the drawing line slits are made and then your follicular grafts are implanted here. The survival rate of harvested grafts depends upon many factors like maintenance of hydration, cold temperature, reduced mechanical handling. All these factors favorably improved if the time out of body is reduced significantly. In Medispa, prepared grafts are implanted as soon as they are harvested. Apart from providing independent rooms with all amenities to outstation patients, Medispa team led by Dr. Suni Suni are always on high alert in rendering best services and giving a home-like environment to every patient. After a due course of time, your personality is changed completely. Your happiness is the only concern of Matty's birth. In continuing my assistance further for your better future, I would like to inform you that the mobile number 8527220878 which you can see on your screen is a direct number of Mary's Park. For any query, support, second opinion, speak to them at any time of your convenience. You will get an expert opinion, absolutely free of cost. You may also log into the Medispa website present on the screen that is www.medispaindia.in. Now please grant me permission to go. Thank you for joining me. See you again. Good luck. Namaskar.